Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be another video talking about upgrades that I have made to my CZ Scorpion pistol. This is going to be one of the final videos that I'm making in this series because I have finally completed any upgrade that I could have ever imagined for the CZ Scorpion here. My original plan was to do a small video review on each individual piece, but because I added so many since the last video, I figured I would just make a complete video and talk about each individual part. So let's get right into it. One of the most notable upgrades you guys are gonna see right away is the free float handguard that I got from HP Industries. A lot of the upgrades that I have done to the Scorpion since the last video were purchased from HP Industries. And I think they're a really, really great website to get this stuff from as far as very affordable prices, fast shipping, and great service overall. This handguard specifically is a 6.4 inch flat faced handguard. They do have a curved handguard that you guys are probably seeing in some back roll footage on their website. I wasn't really a huge, huge fan of that because the main reason that I wanted to go with this handguard guard was to fit really really nicely with my dead air ghost suppressor which you guys will also see in some back roll footage of me shooting this suppressed and I have to say guys the overall look is just phenomenal not only that they make it very 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 easy to install all you're simply going to do is you have these four screws on each side of the handguard here you're just going to remove these and you can actually after you have already installed their barrel nut which is a replacement of the factory scorpion barrel nut which again is not very complicated to do at all they have a full instructional video on their website but after you put in their barrel nut you can actually switch out these free float handguards for any length that you want on their website and the handguards alone are very very inexpensive and I actually picked up the entire kit meaning the handguard the barrel nut and the proper yeah, wrench to get the factory barrel nut off of the CZ Scorpion for only $165 ship. The overall fit and finish on their free float handguard I think is absolutely excellent. The flat dark earth that this is in doesn't exactly match the factory flat dark earth coating that CZ puts on. However, I think it adds somewhat of a cool kind of FN scar style of look to it, and it really completes it. Not only that, it adds quite a bit more modularity, being that it is just M-lock instead of having just those standard Picatinny rails on the side. It will also give you a longer sight radius and just an overall better feel on the gun. If you're not gonna run it suppressed, I still think the flat version looks pretty sweet, but it will also go really, really well just fully shrouding a suppressor if you wanted to go that route. From there, the second most notable upgrade here is the PAX Pathfinder grip. There's a couple of different grips available on the market for the CZ Scorpion. I ended up going with the Pathfinder grip over the Yeti Works grip, which is the more popular grip out of the two. It's just a little bit more of a vertical grip angle, even more so than the Yeti Works. Now, you guys will see in the picture that I'm throwing up now in back roll, the difference of the two grips is huge. The factory grip has such a sharp angle, which I think on the original factory stock on the SBR version, how this was originally made, probably wasn't as big of a deal. But if you're looking at shooting it and buying it as a pistol, it really, really makes a difference. Not only that, the factory safety, because of the angle that the grip is at, really starts to dig into your finger. So even without switching the safeties, this Pathfinder grip will do a great job in alleviating any problems that you're gonna have with the safety digging into your hand. It is also quite a bit cheaper than any other aftermarket grip. You're only looking at about $29 on HB Industries website, which again is not bad at all. The only really thing that I could say that would really upgrade this grip is just a little bit more aggression. It is a little bit smooth sided. Now I didn't have a huge issue with this, but just a quick stipple job or some grip tape or something like that can easily solve that problem. The Pathfinder grip also goes extremely well with the SP Tactical stabilizing brace. I have all the information regarding this in a separate video. I will post that video in a card right in the right hand corner right now. Feel free to check that one out as well. Moving forward on the score, Scorpion. Another upgrade that I did was the AK style safety selector. The immediate positives are the fact of how much easier it is to maneuver than the factory 
safeties that are on the Scorpion. Whether you go with the factories or the aftermarkets like on the other side, I have this Parker Mountain Machine safety that's just slightly different than the factory grip. But you guys will, will know, all you Scorpion owners out there, that the factory charging handles really, I mean, it takes your whole hand just maneuvering them up and down. They're very, very tight, and they can be a little bit annoying at times. This completely gets rid of that problem. I mean, I could literally, with a pinky, just swipe it up and down, up and down. It's just so much easier to use because there's a little bit more leverage, and I absolutely love it. It is also great for right-hand shooters because it completely gets rid of any problem at all of any rubbing of the safety. So it moves it completely forward, and you're never gonna have that issue again. The only downside that I can see to this AK-style safety selector is if you are actually used to shooting AKs. And what I mean by that, you'll notice that it's actually the opposite manual of arms of what an AK is. When it is parallel to the gun, where on a standard AK that would be safe, it is actually fire on the Scorpion. And when it's in the down position, where it would be normally fire on an AK, it is safe on the Scorpion. So I actually found myself oddly thinking that the gun was in fire because I'm so used to the manual of arms on an AK, when in reality I was putting the gun on safe. So that was just something that, you know, I think it's something that you have to get used to, not really a huge deal, but I thought that was kind of an interesting side effect of the new safety. We also have a new magazine release. So this is also going to be manufactured by HB Industries, and it is going to be their extended duckbill magazine release. Now this one is actually going to be one of their aluminum magazine releases, and they do also make it in a polymer, which is a little bit cheaper. I wanted to go with the aluminum because that's what seemed like it was going to be the most enlarged out of the bunch. And I can say the overall fit and finish on the aluminum mag release is just great. I have absolutely no complaints there. And then as far as the ease of use of reloads, it is just worlds different. I mean, just gripping the magazine, pulling it out, putting it in. I have no issues at all. I even tried it with my F5 manufacturing 50 round drum. Again, had no issues with that. The only thing that I will say, and this is more so an issue on my end, I actually kind of messed up the install a little bit. They do ship it with a new magazine release spring, and I would imagine it's just a little bit of a heavier poundage than the older Scorpion factory spring. Unfortunately, when I was putting in the new HB industry spring, because I wasn't paying attention or really doing the install in the right position, I actually bent the spring that was newly coming with the HB industries one. In order to solve this problem, I just simply put the old Scorpion mag release spring back in as a replacement, and that has been working just fine. I don't know if that'll affect me in the long run, but as of right now, I'm having no issues. And one of the last pieces that I actually ordered from HP Industries is this enlarged charging handle here. Now you can barely tell that it's enlarged. I mean, the factory one is just slightly smaller than this one, but I will say it makes a huge difference. I noticed it immediately when I was going to load the pistol and it just was much, much easier. It felt very at home as most of the HK style charging handles are. You know, it had that same kind of feel now and it wasn't that kind of like nub feel that the original Scorpion one had. And I didn't feel like I was rubbing my hand or fingers or knuckles against this Picatinny rail over the top as I did with, with the older factory charging handle. With these aluminum hand guards, you actually cannot use the aluminum aftermarket charging handles. You'll get a little bit too much rubbing on each other and because they're the same material, it just tends to not really work well. And for the very last attachment that I've added to the Scorpion, it is going to be the Spark 2 Red Dot from Vortex. This was a red dot that I actually had sitting on one of my other ARs, but that AR I really didn't use as much. And because I was using the Scorpion a little bit more, and because it may be going into a home defense role soon, I figured I would actually just take it off there and throw it on here. And it actually ended up working great. I've had no issues with this red dot so far. I was a little bit skeptical because it was gonna be a larger red dot on such a compact pistol, but I've had no issues with it. It's just really started sitting well on here and I have no plans of taking it off at all. It's a great red dot and I will have a separate review on this Spark 2 in the future. Overall guys, I don't think you would go wrong with upgrading the Scorpion at all. I think some really big positives about upgrading the Scorpion are just really how cheap all of the upgrades are. It's so much cheaper than upgrading an AR and you can really, really do it 
on a budget with no problems at all. Aside from that, I was a little bit nervous when I first started upgrading it, just because the Scorpion, as far as the internals and doing gunsmithing work, was something that I was not used to at all because I've never done it before. I was really pleasantly surprised that after I started getting into it, I started realizing just how simple the overall design was and how easy it was to actually upgrade. So I wouldn't let any fear of the unknown scare you out of doing any upgrades on this because once you get into it, you'll realize how simple it really is. Also guys, just remember that the stock CZ Scorpion is still great, especially if you add something just like this SB Tactical Brace here, you can really get away with just having that. But if you're looking for a slightly more functional gun, these are some great upgrades to make. That's gonna wrap this video up guys. If you have any questions, please put them down below in the comment section and I will absolutely get back to you. Also head to that description and check out my Facebook and Instagram account. On the Instagram account I still do daily posts, weekly live streams, daily stories. We have a blast over there so don't forget to give those a follow and also hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of the awesome content that I have coming out here on the YouTube account. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more great videos to come soon.